The circle of life is not as easy as you think. To learn it all, you have to shrink to the size of a cell as small as can be. Nothing just your eyes could ever see. In a nutshell, this is how you divide a cell. One cell is where it begins, and then it divides into two identical twins. Interphase is the first category. From here we will tell you a little story. The cell gets grown, acts the way it's always known. The last you one step we have to tell is the replication of each organelle. Synthesis you don't want to miss. DNA is copied during this. Easy, but not cheesy. In G2, the cell continues to grow. This information you now know. The cell is ready to divide. It starts on the inside. Mitosis is the first bit. In it, the nucleus is split. Chromatin starts very thin, but now condenses into a tight chromosome. Now it feels more at home. We used to think envelopes were just for mailing, but if we thought that now, we would be failing. This type of envelope, the nuclear one, starts to break down. Now it's time for the fun. Now that the nuclear envelope is gone, the centrosomes and centrioles say so long. They migrate to the cell's poles, and the spindle starts to take on its roles. The nucleolus is next to go. Then we move on to metaphase. Yo! Little fibers attached to the centromeres of each centrosome, their peers. The chromosomes align at the cell equator, and metaphase says, See you later, alligator. The sister chromatids split, even though they used to be close knit. A complete set of chromosomes is now at each pole. From the beginning, that was their goal. The nuclear membrane starts to reform. During telophase, that's the norm. The nucleolus returns while the spindle adjourns. The chromosomes start to be uncoiled. The cell division process will not be foiled! It's time to wrap things up with cytokinesis. Remember in this stage, when the cytoplasm divides, daughter cells are formed, not nieces. A trench is formed in the cytoplasm of an animal cell and then pulled apart with a quick farewell. Plant cells make a new cell wall out of a plate. The wall divides the cell without a debate. Although cell division is fun, it's not for everyone. G0 cells don't divide often, but they still carry out their everyday action. Here's one last thing so you don't have to look it up on Bing. It's all about the creation of offspring. Only one parent is needed, and the joining of gametes is not heated. The parents and offspring are exactly the same. We aren't kidding you. This isn't a game. It can be more efficient. You don't need a mate. And it maintains genes that with surroundings coordinate. However, low genetic variability can make you very sad, because being susceptible to changing conditions is very bad. Similar to mitosis, except without a nucleus. But don't worry, you shouldn't be nervous. Because binary fission is one of these ways to divide prokaryotes into two daughter cells for all of its days. In fragmentation, a parent cell splits into pieces. And from this, the population increases. <laughs> the last type of asexual reproduction is budding. If a small bump grows on an organism, a new offspring is forming. This, this is all we have to say. Keep the cell cycle in mind for another day.